What's going on, guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. For the ones who haven't met me, my name is Moeej. You can call me Mo if it's easier. I sell a lot of real estate with Remax Impact Realty across the GTA and Durham region. So every month, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to take one of my client scenarios, either a home sale or a home purchase, and I'm going to break it down for you to show you what we did to make that sale happen behind the scenes because a lot of magic is done behind the scenes and you really don't see what's happening on the outside. And in this market, it's a mission to secure your property for your clients you're lucky even if you get your offer looked at let alone just get accepted and to do that you have to put a lot of effort behind the scenes you have to get creative and i'm going to walk you through something that we did that kind of helped my clients secure the property and hopefully it'll give you some insight on what you can do when you're trying to look for your house in the future as well so let me just really quickly share my screen with you guys and as i show you the house i'll walk you through what we did all righty so this is a townhouse, sorry, semi-detached located in Ajax. Now, prior to my clients looking at houses in person, they hopped on a home buyer consultation with me. At that point, Zoom wasn't as hot. So we did a regular phone call consultation and we walked over numbers and next steps, finance process, what to look for, what not to look for, and what happens and pretty much the whole spiel on what to expect. My clients were so wise. First, they hopped on a call with a mortgage broker. They got their financing done. They got their pre-approval letter in writing. They knew exactly how much they could afford in terms of purchase price. They knew the monthly costs associated with it. They knew, they knew what other costs they would incur. And then they began looking at houses. So this is probably the 10th or the 15th house we look at. And by this time, my clients had put two or three offers. And unfortunately, it did not get accepted, which is quite normal normal in this situation. If that happens to you, do not lose hope. Keep going. You have to keep trying until something clicks. So this house came up for sale at 9 a.m. And my clients were working till 6 p.m. We saw this property around 3 p.m. At that point, I was refreshing my system and so were my clients. And the moment this house came on the market, they kind of knew that this is what they wanted. So Here's the funny part, guys. The house came up for sale at 9 a.m. It wasn't even a full day on the market, and they had already had about four to eight showings during that time. Now, my clients get off work at six, so by the time they got to the property, they're coming from a long way, it would be about nine o'clock, and at six o'clock on the dot, they had already received one offer. So what we did to be more creative and to be more aggressive is I got to the property before six o'clock, and I did a FaceTime showing with them. This wasn't the first time we did this. They already knew that we might have to use this tool to speed up the process. So we did a FaceTime showing. It's not the same. Yes, seeing it in person is everything, but here's why we were a little bit more clever. So I showed the house to them over FaceTime. They loved it. We put an aggressive offer that night and it got accepted. And by aggressive, I mean, we didn't have too many conditions. We didn't have too many clauses. We put a good dollar. We knew our property value. We knew how much homes are selling for in that area over the past couple of months. So we actually put a pretty incentivizing offer to the seller and our offer got accepted. We had a good deposit, but I made our offer. Well, my clients, I made the offer conditional upon my clients viewing the home in person and making sure they like it. So we beat the traffic. We saw the property. My clients saw it. They liked it. We got the home inspection done. We got the finance done. Everything was great. And eventually we firmed up on the deal and They've actually moved in the house by now. They've actually renovated it as well. And the house looks amazing. So that's what we had to do to be more aggressive. And a day later, there was three more offers on that property. And they didn't get a chance to compete because we beat them to it. And the only reason why we could is because we simply took advantage of FaceTime. And my clients were mentally ready to put an offer by seeing a property on FaceTime and it worked to their favor. So if you're looking to purchase in the Toronto GTA region and you're watching this video right now, it's late 2020, then you're going to have to be aggressive to get a property for yourself because the market is so hot. If you're watching this video somewhere else, this may not be applicable to you, but if you're in a seller's market, then yes, take the nuggets from this video and it'll definitely help. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate in reaching out to me.